Good evening, Jenny. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good. How about Good. you? Good. Just ready to start in the class. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, we have four minutes. Yes. Estoy viendo ahorita lo de los verbos. ¿Y mm -hmm. qué significa should? Es... H-U-T, shoot. Shoot is like disparar, shoot. Oh, disparar, okay. Good evening, Erika. Thank you for joining us. We are about to start the class. Good evening. How are you today? I find you. Great, thank you, good. Thank you for asking. Okay, is there any question before we start? There are three minutes before starting the class. I don't know if there are any question regarding previous classes. No, Erika, do you have any question? Uh, no. No? No. Okay, very good. Um, uh, just remember that you need to uh, work on the platform because uh, I need to use to uh, hand it in a, your progress there. Remember, every class we are going to have uh, a, a homework for that. And if you have any question, please let me know. And I'm going, I'm glad to assist you in that part. Okay. So, um, uh, Erika, I don't remember if you've completed some information. Let me see. Yes, you work on the platform. Okay, very good. Okay, there are some people that have not worked yet. So, but I hope this um, week they're going to get in, uh, in advance of that. Okay, girls. So we're teacher, going. Yes. Teacher, una pregunta. Eh, yes. Fíjese que estuve resolviendo las actividades de en línea, pero había una que exact, o sea, de verdad no sabía qué qué tengo que hacer. ¿En no cuál? Equivoco, es la actividad número cuatro, eh, donde hay unas oraciones y que creo que tenemos que complementar con una palabra, pero no sé si es el verbo. Ah, ok. Esas son con las con el vocabulario que hemos estado viendo. Uh -huh. Ya le voy a decir en qué página está. Está en la página 17. Uh -huh. No sé si tiene la, el libro a la mano. Ahorita. Fue donde yo tuve problemas también. Sí. ¿Verdad que sí? Ajá, está bien. Es que no dice mayor cosa la indicación. No, no dice. Ajá. Es, prácticamente es poner el vocabulario que hemos aprendido. Por ejemplo, está empathy, responsibility, honesty, innovation, loyalty, leadership, puntuality, efficiency, integrity, and respect. ¿En cuál tuvo problema? Eh, no, lo que pasa es que él no la hice, o sea, solo la leí, pero no la hice porque en realidad no entendí qué tenía que hacer. Okay. O sea, porque yo puse una palabra que para mí concordaba con la oración y me salía mala. Entonces, por eso preguntaba. Ok. Uh -huh. Gracias por unirse, Carla. Eh, Erika, entonces, en ese, eh, voy a leer nada más la primera y uh -huh. le voy a resolver para que usted vaya resolviendo las demás okay. por ejemplo la primera dice if you are respect, respectful you show uh -huh. cuando uno es respetable ¿qué muestra? basado en el, en el vocabulario que está en la página 17 respect respect uh -huh. ok, esa sería la respuesta de la 1 y oh, después okay. básicamente tiene que utilizar el mismo vocabulario en esta actividad ah ok, ok, hoy sí queda claro ok, good gracias welcome thank you Carlos for joining us how are you today? how are you teacher? good ok, very good so we're going to start the class so we have pass, uh, one minute pass uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the presentation for today. 
that we have for today. And uh, let me just to, let me just to move on on this. I will share that. Okay, we'll share the a screen for that. Let me, okay. I have it here. Okay, let me know if you can uh, see the screen. We can, see that screen. Okay, very good. Remember today is the video conferencia number six. We're going to learn uh, uh, industry vocabulary. Okay, we're going to go over some uh, companies, department, how they work, and uh, basically what they do. Okay, we have uh, the objective for today is at the end of the class, a student will be able to exchange information about the company's expertise by using industry vocabulary. So we're going to learn uh, that vocabulary. So we're going to use in a conversation as well. Okay, we have the agenda. We have the warm up, which is going to go to the vocabulary. We're going to go to the discussion and conversation uh, in practice. And then we're going to make a role play. We are going to go to companies department, company expertise and its industrial classification and at the end, as always, we're going to make a review about what we did uh, during the class. Okay, right now we go to the warm up. We go to the vocabulary. In this case, we're going to work in groups, but let me just verify how many we are right now. Let me just to Look on this. Let me see how many we are right now. Okay, basically what we're going to do, I'm going to explain that one and then we're going to work in pairs because I, I cannot see how many we are. The screen doesn't show me that. Okay, so we're going to do is we're going to um, just remember vocabulary that we already know. For example, Apple and something like that. And uh, we're going to go over to that. Uh, for example, we are going to um, use the last letter of one of the words. For example, if you see, we have office. Office and with E, right? And then, uh, thank you for joining us, Andres. And then you need to go with another, you need to look for another word that has the last letter. For example, we have office and finish with E. So next, next word needs to start with E, elephant. Next word needs to start with T, which is tomato. Tomato ends in O. So next word needs to start with O, which is orange. Okay, lo que vamos a hacer es eh, repasar el vocabulario, el vocabulario que ya ustedes saben. Palabras simples eh, de cosas, frutas, comida. Pero tiene que empezar la siguiente, let la siguiente palabra. Tiene que empezar con la letra con la que termina la palabra anterior. No sé si está claro. Is it clear? Yes? Okay, very good. Okay, so I will stop sharing the screen and I will give you a word, which is company. Keep in mind that word. Tomen esa palabra como una, una, el vocabulario inicial. De ahí van a partir para formar el siguiente eh, vocabulario. Van a tener, eh, van a tener 
cinco minutos para poder eh, escribir la mayor el número de palabras que ustedes puedan. Ok, estamos cinco nada más. Ok, we are four. Ok, what we're going to do right now, we're going to get in pairs. Ok, so let me just get in pairs. Vamos a formar los grupos, bueno, en, en las eh, parejas. Y déjeme ver. Dígame. Tengo una duda. Sí. En el caso, vamos a, a buscar una palabra que inicie con guay, sería. Así para, es. ¿verdad? Así es, van a empezar. Esta company, como la company termina con guay, so you need to look for a word that start with guay. Ok. Let me okay. Let me make the pairs. It would just take a moment. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, I will make the pairs right now. You have five minutes, five minutes only, okay? Just to are you, Carlos? Julia, good evening, Julia. Okay, I will, I will um, join you. I la voy a meter a una, um, a un grupo para que hagamos la actividad. Lo que estamos viendo ahorita son, es vocab, revisión de vocabulario. Okay, los compañeros le van a ayudar. Let's, let's go over to that. Let me just do, I will join to this. Okay, let me just start moving on. ¿Cuál pusiste tú ya? Yo puse year, año. Ah, year, ok. Year. Entonces, sigue con era. Sería read. Read significa, vamos a ver. A ver qué. Leer, parece si no me equivoco. Sí, yes. read. That's right. Eh, ahora una con D. Um, D. Con, ah, ¿al? con D dice. Sí. D. 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 Ah, ok. Otra con I. Yesterday. Yesterday. Ok. Otra vez con Y. Otra I. Ya valió. Yellow. Yellow. Ah, cabal. ¿Quién más está ahí? ¿Quién más está ahí? Julia está con nosotros. Ah, eh, Julia. Explíquenle mientras yo me muevo al otro grupo, please. Ok, ok. okay. <risa> eh, 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 sí, ¿Hola? Sí. hola, Julia. Hola. Hola. Sí, sí he entendido lo que estamos haciendo aquí. <risa> no. Vale. Se, nos, ha, nos ha puesto a que... Eh, con la última palabra que, que se inició, lo de Open Company, con la sí. última letra, letra de la, cada okay. palabra, armemos otra palabra. Y así vamos a ir armando varias palabras. Ah, Entonces, de, cua, de, ¿de cuál, perdón? Partiendo sí. de Company. Partiendo ah, de, de Company. company. Uh -huh. Cabal. Company sería lo primero. 
Entonces, y, ya con... Ajá. Ah, y con company vamos a formar otras palabras. Otras, con la ajá. última letra. Con la última letra. Ah, con company. la Y. Con la Y. Ya ah, veíamos... A ver. Oh. Hola, buenas. Hola. Hola. Sí, sí, sí. Ah. Bienvenido, Tatiana. Buenas. Buenas noches, teacher. Bienvenido. <ríe> Ok, los he unido a este grupo porque eh, alguien más está, eh, ya uní a alguien más en el otro grupo, eh, solo a, a modo de recapitulación, estamos revisando vocabulario, están uh, recordando vocabulario simple del que ustedes ya saben y el que hemos visto en clase, solo que tienen que eh, iniciar la siguiente palabra con la, let, la última letra de la palabra anterior, por ejemplo, apo termina en uh -huh. E. Entonces, la siguiente palabra sería... Employ. Employee. Ok. Employee. Employee okay. y termina en E. La siguiente palabra sería elephant y termina en T. Entonces, la siguiente palabra sería tomato, que empieza con T. So, in you continue with that. Ok. I will move to the next group. Bueno, vamos... Okay. Estamos por sample, que es simple, termina en E. No sé. Exercise. Exercise. Perfecto. Siempre termina en E. Like. L I E. Ah, ok. Ah, de like. Ay, 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 de like, de. de... Es mentira, de, de mentira. All right. That's right. Okay. Entonces, con E sería example. Sí. Example. Otra vez la E. Otra vez la E. Example. Con E. Con E, expensive. Expensive. Es de caro. Como, ajá. Ajá, como, como caro. Como caro, ajá. Ajá, expensive. Ah, pero terminó otra vez en E. <risa> ah, bueno. Expensive. <risa> sí. Hay varias. Elephant. Ah, ajá, ajá. ¿Cómo se escribe? Exp así como escribe, expensive, ¿verdad? Expensive, sí, con X. Ok. ¿Cómo? M. E, X, Pensive. Ah, ok. De ahí sería Elephant, dijiste, ¿verdad? Sí, cabrón. Elephant. Sí, sí. E termina que se me va con... El... Sería con T, ¿verdad? Sí. Hay tiempo. Sí. Otra con E. Otra con E. <risa> Element. Element. Ah, sí. Element. Thank you, teacher. Element. Welcome. <laughs> okay, I will move. You have two more minutes. Okay, I will move to the next group. Tomorrow. ¿Cómo se dice cuchillo en... Empieza con K. Empieza con K, ¿verdad? Empieza con K. Excelente. Me dejó con el ojo así. Nice. Ahora con E. Otra vez. <risa> student. Estime, no, es, es, con es con S. Ajá, S. Elemental. Eleven. 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 Very good. You have one mm. more minute. Eleven. Vamos a ver cómo con N. N. Eleven, también con N. Nothing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Y termina con G. Give. Give, uh -huh. Termina con E otra no, vez. Pero, no, Termina otra, con E otra, otra vez. No, otra Gone. No, quiero ver. Eh, no. Gone go. igual termina con E. Go. 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 ¿Qué, qué vale escribir? No. Go ir, pero Cuando... goats es cabra. No, ghost no. Fantasma. Fantasma. Ajá, ghost. Ajá. Ghost. 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 Ghost.
Oh, okay, okay remember, remember, it's G H O S T. Ah, se es cierto, G H O G H O S T. That's correct, S T. Okay, guys, so we're going to move to the main room. Okay, okay, just tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Next work. They're grouping, they're working in groups right now. Now we're move on to the main room. So we can check the vocabulary they have um, written. Just 22 seconds. Okay, guys, so the first group um, volunteer where Carlos, Julia, and Andres were working with, they're working, uh, they work together. So what is the vocabulary you uh, completed? Volunteer for that group? Yes, Carlos. Let uh, year, okay. Read, uh huh. Day, yes. Yesterday, yellow. Yes. Window, wonderful. Lie. Example, expensive. Elephant. Time. Element. Tomorrow. Weekend. Dreams. Safe. Eggs. Sunday, yes, swap, pain, tools. Tools, okay, 22 words. Very good job, guys. Okay, now we're Carla, uh, Erica, and Joel, and also Jane, uh, we're working. Um, also, Tatiana, what are the words that you uh, have written? Volunteer for that, who's going to tell us? A ver, lo digo yo. Okay. Uh, yes, Saturday, year, wrong, uh, new, winter, red, drink, key, yard, dreams, sock, nose, sample, exercise, uh, sun, news, elephant, Town, never, rock, myth, ele eleven, nothing, ghost, tomorrow, white, excellent, um, tomato, eraser, rainbow. Okay, very good. 31 words. Very good job, guys. Okay, remember, it's knife. Na knife. knife. El cuchillo, knife. right? That's knife. 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 That's correct. Okay, very good guys. Just this activity is in order just to remind you the vocabulary you already know. Okay, acuérdense que no necesariamente tienen que saber palabras uh, o el vocabulario que estamos aprendiendo ahorita, que es relacionado al trabajo. Very good that you have a lot of vocabulary. That's why you work together, put the ideas together in order just to remember that uh, vocabulary. Very good guys. So I will, we are going to continue with that and let me move on uh, with the next part. And uh, we have, I will share the screen. Let me share the screen 
for this. Okay, and we're going to move right now. Let me know when you see the screen. Yes. Okay, very good. We're going to make a discussion and a conversation and also we're going to practice. We're going to discuss the let's start questions in groups. Okay, we're going to make groups. We're going to share the opinion with the whole class. Then we're going to practice the conversation on page 19 and we're going to role play the conversation. Okay, first of all, what we're going to do is discuss the questions, activity number one. What I need you to do, I will unshare this one. What I need you to do is you need to discuss, let me just share this. You need to discuss activity number one, okay? This activity, okay, activity number one. Let me just do, um, you're going to discuss these questions. The first question is, do you often attend seminars? It is easy for you to socialize at those events. How do you usually break the ice? Make people feel more friendly to talk to each other. Okay, acuérdense que eh, básicamente pongamos el ejemplo de cuando empezamos el primer día de clase. Nadie de ustedes se conocía, algunos probablemente sí. Right, but ¿cómo empezaron a romper el hielo? ¿Con qué palabras empezaron? ¿Con un saludo? O con alguna conversación simple. So we're talking about work, situation work related, right? So do you often attend seminars? Yes or no? If it's yes, it is easy for you to socialize with those events. A los eventos que van, a las capacitaciones, trainings, any uh, um, party type, for example, cocktail, no necesariamente tiene que ser un seminario. Okay, so we, we go to a different uh, events in the company. For example, when they, uh, when the company open a new branch or they make a, the anniversary with another company. So how do you socialize with that? Okay, so just, I, I will give you a five minutes in order to discuss the questions. So le voy a dar cinco minutos para que discutan solo la actividad número uno, las preguntas. Voy a hacer los grupos en este momento. Teacher. Yes. What mean branch? Branch es la sucursal. Ok, como. For example, eh, Panaría el Rosario. Ajá. Uh -huh. Panaría el Rosario is the headquarters is in La Sacamil, right? Yes. La Casa yeah, right. Matriz. Now, it has many branches. It has in uh, eh, Soyapango. Un centro Soyapango, Soyapango Centro. Yes. Eh, Pasamundo. That's right, those are branches. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. I will uh, make the groups. Let me see. So we are eight, let's do group, two groups of four. Let me just do, let's do this. Okay, Carlos, join us to the group, please. Okay. okay. Thank you. El verbio de tiempo, o sea, nunca 
o se me ajá, hace no, sí, tiene que ser, ajá, esa es mi ¿Tiene que, ajá, ajá. tiene que iniciar con un adverbio de tiempo, de usually, I never. Ajá. Ajá. Bien. Sí, creo que sí. Porque le está preguntando qué tan seguido o qué tan, qué, qué tan frecuente, es una frecuencia. Ajá. Entonces, por eso tiene que contestar con nunca o siempre o casi siempre o casi nunca. Uh -huh. Ay, esa pregunta es de sí y no, porque empieza ah. con una, do you, do you, do you, do you often attend seminars? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, gracias, okay. teacher. Welcome. Yes, I do. La primera. La segunda sería, vamos a ver, it's it, it easy for you to socialize. At shoes event? Mm -hmm. Sí. No. <laughs> Yo sí. <laughs> Yo sí. Tatiana <laughs> también. <laughs> o sea, rompo el hielo diciendo algo del clima, cualquier ocurrencia, ¿verdad? Yo espero que me hablen del clima. <laughs> Okay, very good technique. So you start as, um, that is a small talk. Es, empieza con una conversación sencilla, a veces de lo que vemos o de las cosas que hay alrededor. So very good. So that's the way you are. You break the ice. Very good. Continue, please. Yo creo que ahí ya contestamos la siguiente pregunta porque está diciendo cómo suele romper el hielo. Entonces, en su caso dice hablar del clima, ¿verdad? De las situaciones que están pasando. Yo diría, yo hablo. Asistir a un asistir, seminario. Asistir, no, a, ajá. Asistir. Ajá, asistiría. Sí, asistir. Ir, oh. ir a un seminario, así. Uh -huh. Sí. Ah, por lo menos en Never. mi caso, nunca. Igual no. En mi caso, sí. Eh, eh, dos veces al mes. Siempre nos mandan, bueno, nos capacitan. Pero ese es en atención al cliente, ¿verdad? Ventas. ¿Ah? opción de ventas. Ah. Remember, guys, not only be seminars. No solamente se refiere a seminarios, también capacitaciones. Por ejemplo, este se puede tomar como una capacitación. Eh, probablemente pero, no la empresa los haya mandado. Ajá. Pero ustedes han buscado esta capacitación. So you can take this one as a seminar as well. Ah, ok. Entonces, si tomamos a cuenta cada cuestión de esto. The last year I have a three, three seminars or capacitations. Trainings. Uh, perdón? Training. Training. Say, training. Training. Okay. Uh, three training. And una era de cableado estructurado. La siguiente era de redes LAN. Y la última, que no la terminamos este año por la desdichada pandemia, de la soporte y mantenimiento. Hasta ahí nos quedamos. ¿Qué? Y ahora, obviamente, repasando inglés. Eh, luego dice, how do you usually break the ice? How do you usually break the ice? I usually sí, como, break como, the... como dijo la compañera en este momento, tiene al colegio el que me regale. <laughs> It could be one option. That's a good Mama, option. It's, it's so serious, the COVID. <laughs> How do you usually uh, I break the ice? I usually break the ice with a conversation of the news. Okay, so do you finish right with the questions? Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay, very good. No se vayan a mover a la conversación todavía. Que solo yes. Para decir, eh, como hablar algo de lo que, del ambiente, ¿cómo sería así bien en inglés? ¿Cómo del ambiente? Algo, no, algo simple, como, 
So everyday activities, you can say. You can say the um, routines, for example, could be an everyday activity. Or you talking about the environment. The environment means the ambiente, the lo que hay alrededor, en nuestro entorno. Okay. 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 Very good. So I will give you one more minute because the other group has not finished yet. So I will move with them, and then I'm going to um, make the whole group for um, the meal. Okay. Just one more minute. Sí, eso sí. Andrés, hablame, mi hermano. No te escucho. <risa> o es que muy fuerte no, estás hablando. Que no, te... <risa> no es, que sí, es que sí les estoy hablando, pero como que se va algo la señal, entonces. No sé cuándo vale. me estás escuchando, ¿no? Vale, hoy, sí. hoy sí que estoy escuchando. Desahogate. Sí. <risa> <risa> Permíteme, <yo. risa> No, ahí este. Como dice ahí que, que están a menudo este. A, Voy a seminarios de, de la empresa. In my case, is, ¿cómo podríamos decir muy a menudo? Very often. Very often. Very often. Or, or, or muchas veces, teacher. Many times. Many times. Uh -huh. Many times. Right? And many times in, in go as a seminars, in uh, attention clients. Customer yeah. service, you can say customer, customer service. service. Customer service, okay. Customer, me lo voy a escribir. Okay, good. <laughs> no, es que sí, este, ya esas palabras sí, pero no, no hayamos como relacionarlas, hasta luego. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're going to move on to the main room right now. So we're going to discuss those questions together. Two questions. Okay, we are all together. Okay, very good. Okay, um, the first question is, do you often attend seminars? Yes, no? So, so? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Okay, very good, Jenny. And what about you, Erica? Do you attend uh, seminars? How often, do you often attend seminars? Yes, uh, two times a month. Times a month, very good. What about you? What about you, Julia? Si me repite la pregunta, teacher, por favor. Do you often attend seminars? The first question. Ah, no much. Not much. No. Okay, Sergio. What about you? About what, teacher? About do you attend um, seminars? Or do you take trainings? How often do you do it? No, I don't. Okay, you don't. Okay, good. Thank you for joining us, Sergio. Okay, who else we have here? Carla, what about you? Do you often attend seminars? Yes, I do. Okay, uh, Tatiana, what about you? Yes, I do. Okay, Carlos, what about you? Carlos, you are on mute. Tiene el micrófono. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yes, I do. Okay, Andres. Yes, many times. Okay, yes, many times. Very good. Joel, what about you? Uh, very often very often very good yeah 
Okay, let's move on to the second question. It is easy for you to socialize at those Por favor. events. Pero tomate la pasión, primero. Carla. How, um, it is easy for you to socialize at those events? No, it's not easy for me. It's not easy for you. Mm -hmm. Are you sh a little shy? Eh, un poco penosa? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so. So, so. Okay, very good. Tatiana, what about you? Second question. Uh, this is easy for me to okay. say with other person. With other people. Okay, remember person is one, okay. people is the plural. Okay. Okay, Andres, what about you? It is easy for you to socialize at those events? Yes, uh, I'm no problem uh, my, with my co-worker. Okay, very good. Joel, what yes. about you? Second question. It is easy for you to socialize at those events? Yes, very easy. Very easy for you. It's a piece yes. of cake. Okay. Yeah, this is a piece of cake. <laughs> okay, very good. Carlos, tell me, it is easy for you to socialize on those events. Carlos, está por ahí, quizás se, se frizó. Okay, we move to Erika. Erika, what about you? It is easy for you to socialize at those events. Yes, uh, it's very easy. Okay, very good. Julia, tell us, share what do you do. It is easy for you to socialize at those events. No. Not much. Eh, no much. Okay. Me, soy un poco tímida. So ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Shy. Ah, shy. Shy. Okay, you shy. can say, I am shy. I am a little shy. Okay, very good. ¿Cómo, Jenny, ¿cómo what perdón, perdón. A S H Y. Teacher, yes. Este, escriba shine o shire, no sé cómo shine. pronuncia. Let la, me, tímido. Let me share the, the board. Okay. You can do that. You can see it, right? Only three letters, teacher. Yes, only three letters. That is uh, tímido, tímida, S, S, es H, indiferente a la, es Indiferente yes. al género. Indiferente. So we can use uh, she is shy and I am shy. Okay, and he is shy, we are shy. So it doesn't matter the gender. Okay. Okay, thank okay. you, teacher. Welcome. Let me uh, share this one. Okay. Um, can, okay, Carlos, it is easy for you to socialize at those events. It's easy. It is easy for you. Okay, yeah. very good. Okay, now, Sergio, it is easy for you when you go to a training. Is it easy for you uh, to socialize on those events? For example, puedes contar como una capacitación a esta clase que está tomando. Is it, basically, it's a training. So it's a class, but you are in a workshop. Let's, that's it. Okay, is it easy for you to socialize in this kind of events, Sergio? No, teacher. I'm not a social person. You're you're a little shy too. Yeah, I do. Oh, okay, yeah. very good. But you need to work on that. Very good. Okay, let's move on to the third um, to the third question. In this case, will be, how do you usually break the ice? Okay, volunteers. In this case, we can have many. Oh, different uh, uh, ways to break the ice. What is an uh, uh, usual break broken ice? Volunteers? Yes? So, 
in my case, uh, it's a very easy to break the ice because I I talk with other people. I like talk to other people and many topics and and it's easy to talk it with is, other is, people. Okay, very good. So you talk about different topics. Yeah. Any other opinion? Very good, Joel. Thank you. Any other opinion or any other way to do it? I usually break eyes, talk about the, the everyday activity. The everyday activities. Okay, sometimes we can talk about the weather, right? So it's, you can say it's about to rain or we can say it's very hot, right? These days, they are very hot in here, okay? So we can talk about different things. For example, also simple things. When you go to a training or a seminar, so most of, in, in those places, most of the time there are coffee, right? So we can start a conversation. Do you like black coffee or do you like uh, coffee with sugar? You can start a conversation with that. And then you can move on to a deep conversation, right? So you can start with a small talk. Very good, guys. Do you have any question regarding this? Alguna pregunta hasta el momento con referente a este tópico de cómo romper el hielo? No? Okay, very good. So we're going to do right now, I'm going to share the screen and uh, we're going to move to that conversation. Okay, let me know, we can you see the screen? Do you see the screen right now? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on this conversation between Rick and Jack. As always, I'm going to read the conversation and then uh, you're going uh, to listen. If you have any questions regarding uh, uh, vocabulary, let me know. First of all, if you see, let me just to uh, point out that part. Okay, if you see here, we have headquarters. Headquarters is the place where a company or organization had its main office. Like the example I said before. Okay, eh, Panaria El Rosario. Where, where is the headquarters, Panaria El Rosario? The headquarters is in the Sacamil, right? Now, we're talking about branch. A shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area. So in this case, uh, Joel says, uh, Panería El Rosario yes. <laughs> has different uh, places or different branches in different places. For example, Plaza Mundo, La Metropolis, uh, Salvador del Mundo is some different. I don't know if they are in that other departments here in El Salvador, but in San Salvador, there are many branches of Panadería El Rosario. We're talking about also um, we can say um, La Curacao, for example. Okay, Curacao has, is a large company. I don't know where the headquarters is, but La Curacao has different ones in different places, in different departments or states in El Salvador. Okay, so any question regarding that? about the headquarters or branches? Clear on that? Estamos claro con las headquarters y los branches? Yes? Okay, very good. Okay, let's move on uh, to the conversation. And uh, what we're going to do is, I'm going to be Rick and Jack. We're going to, I'm move, moving on to the conversation here. Rick, uh, my name is Rick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see, does Inex have many branches? 
Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And uh, where are those headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, questions about vocabulary. Alguna pregunta sobre el vocabulario? Car cardboard. Cardboard what son, is son la, los cartones, el cartón. That's a cardboard. En este caso estamos hablando Cajas de cartón. That's right. Very good. Any other, any other question? In manufacturing branches. Branches. Branches en el plural de las tiendas. That's right. Okay. Pero, pero sería, porque si dice tienda también... ¿O no se puede decir stores? Eh, es como una sucursal. Eso se refiere. Ajá. O sea, si nos referimos a la tienda, tienda, podemos decir store. Pero si nos referimos a la sucursal, we can say branch. Ok, ok. Ok, very good. Now, let's practice the conversation. Please, everybody repeat after me. My name is Rick. My name is Rick. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice, nice to meet, you, meet too. you too. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. Jack. I, I work like for Rose. Inex Inc. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? What does, what does Inex Inc. do, do Jack? Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. We, we manufacture, manufacture cardboard boxes, boxes, boxes for packing, packing companies. companies. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Does <laughs> Inex have many branches? Does, does Inex have many branches? many branches? Yes, it does. Yes, yes, yes it, does. it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. We have, we have three, three manufacturing, manufacturing branches, branches in, the in the country. And where are those headquarters? And where, and where are, are the headquarters? headquarters? They're in Panama. They're, They're in, in Panama. Panama. Okay, I'm going to be Rick and you're going to be Jack. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you too. I'm Jack. Jack. I work for, work for Inex, Inex Inc. Inc. What does in a, in X Inc. do, Jack? We, we manufacture, manufacture boxes, cardboard boxes, boxes for, for packing, packing companies. companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes. yes. It yes. does. Yes. We have we three have manufacturing branches in the country. And where are those headquarters? They there is in Panama. There in, Panama. in Panama. Very good. Now we are going to change roles. Um, you are Rick and I am Jack. One, two, three. My name is Rick. Rick. Nice, Rick. To nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Ines Inc. What does, what does Ines Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does it have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And, and where and are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, very good. Now we're going to practice the conversation in pairs. I'm going to create the pairs right now. Yes. Uh, I have a, a difficult, um, I don't know how do you pronounce, packaging? Packaging. Packaging. Pa mm -hmm. pa uh, packaging. 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 Okay. And he headquarters. Head. Like the head. Uh -huh, head. Uh -huh. Quarters. <laughs> quarters. 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 Okay. okay. Uh, yes. Entonces es packaging. 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 Very good. Packaging. Okay. Packaging. Very good. 
Okay, we're going to create, okay. yes. Okay, let's move on in this. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to uh, create the peers in uh, one group of three, and then uh, uh, please practice the conversation. Hmm? You tired? Yes. Estás cansada? Yes. Me too, Tatiana. Vamos a ver. ¿Usted tiene la, la pantalla? O sea, la comparto. Sí. Ah, bye. Bye. Entonces empecemos. Usted inicia. Usted es Rick. Ok, Tatiana. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Very good. Now you can change roles and continue practicing. Now we'll move on to the next pair. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. Packaging. Packaging. It had parts. Okay. Packaging. Okay. Ahora. Packaging. Carlos. ¿Con quién? Con, contigo, Erika. Sí. Entonces yo soy Rip porque tú... Uh -huh. tú vale, entonces empiezo con Rip, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, my name is Rip. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I, I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? With manufacturing cardboard boxer for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay, very good. So just remember, branch is only one. Branches, Branch. branches, two or more. Branch, branches. Very um, good. Branch, branches. Branches. Continue, please. Okay. Um, Sería con, Julia, con Julia. Cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. Uh, we have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay. Okay, rem okay remember, it's headquarters. 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 Quarters. 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 Headquarters. Se me lengua la traba. Okay, very good. Andres, activa la cámara, please. Continue. Uh, uh, teacher. Yes. And, Andres está compartiendo la, la imagen. Ah, okay. Very good. <laughs> okay. Ya parece que pasó y la tenía activada. Okay, very good. Okay, continue practicing. I will give you two more minutes. Okay. Tenemos una ahí de vuelta todavía. Voy, pues. Voy, pues yo. Voy, voy yo. Do Jack. We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? 
Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay, remember, very good. Remember, branch is only one. Mm -hmm. Branches, two or more. Mm -hmm. Okay, branch, branches. Okay. And a packaging, packaging, packaging. Mo la el mayor acento en la pa, packaging. Packaging, packaging. Packaging, packaging. very good. Okay, so one more minute, continue a practice and we'll give you one more minute. Okay. Okay. Okay, my name is Rich. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Teacher. Yes. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Eh, sería, and where are that headquarters or the... The... the. That, uh, and where are the headquarters? Okay. Any other question? Clear no. on that? Okay, very good. So right now we're going to move to the main room. I will stop the uh, rooms and we're going to may, uh, meet in the main room. Okay, very good. Are we all in the seven? Okay, let me see. Okay, there are 15 seconds just to everybody get into the main room. Okay, very good. Okay, um, do you have any questions? So I saw you, how you pronounce, I hear you how you pronounce the words. Very good pronunciation. So there are some words that just um, make corrections on those and you ask me the pronunciation and some others. Okay, very good pronunciation, very good job guys. So right now we're going to stop a little while that activity and I'm going to take attendance, okay? Uh, I'm going to take attendance, remember, to say present and activate your cam, okay? Right now, I'm going to take attendance. Okay, Eduardo Antonio Angel Martinez is not here. Uh, Jenny Quesada Fernandez de Campos. Present. Thank you very much. Uh, Kenny Alexander Montenegro Galdames. She's not here. Sergio Alberto Sosa Santos. I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much. And Monica Guadalupe Martinez Munguia. She's not here and neither Jose Ernesto Rivera Deras. I, th I think they're not going to attend this class. Wendy Joana Estrada. And Andres Oswaldo Ramos. Presente. Thank you. Eduardo Alfredo Perez Rugamas. It's not here. Tatiana Genoveva de Merino. Present. Thank you. Carla Evelyn Melendez Guzman. Present. Thank you. Erika Paulina Rivera Llanes. Present. Thank you. Uh, we have Maritza Elizabeth Chicas. She's not here. Uh, Mariela Lourdes Amaya Herrera. Flor Morena Rodriguez de Morales. Probably she's meeting. Uh, probablemente se nos una más tarde, que está en el trabajo. Eh, Carlos Emilio Contreras Romero. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Dora Ayala de López. Uh, Emma Carolina Araniva. 
eh, Daniel Edgardo Álvarez Hernández. Ana Julia Carolina Monge Rodríguez. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. So we're going to do right now, we're going to create a conversation. Okay, the presentation, the PowerPoint presentation says discuss. Let's start the questions in groups. After that, share the opinions with the whole class and then practice that conversation in that uh, part. So we're going to do right now, I will share this screen. Okay, and I will share this part. Okay, let me see when you can see the, the screen. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, so we're going to the role play part. What means a role play? You need to create a conversation based on the conversation that we uh, practiced before. Okay, you can use the same topic with different uh, company and then you can show off that to the class. Okay, so if you remember the conversation was a will just share this one. Okay, as you saw this part, they're talking about, um, let me see here, Enex, right? So it's a company. You can talk about, about you can talk about your company or any other company, okay? But you need to create a conversation. Vamos a crear una conversación basado en lo que eh, estuvimos practicando anteriormente y hay que agregarle un poco más a esa conversación. Okay, lo que yo necesito es que eh, tomen como ejemplo la conversación anterior, pero también le agreguen más cosas. No solo la practiquen así como está. You need to add more things. For example, what kind of uh, products or service does the company uh, promote or does the company sells or provide? Okay, some other questions regarding that. Okay, I will create that. We are going to work in pairs. You need to create a conversation. You have to practice and then you have to tell us to, to show or to role play to the class. Okay, I will give you 20 minutes. Le voy a dar 20 minutos. Teacher. Si, yes. Uh, you can share the picture. Yes, of to course. Take a capture the conversation. No problem. I will share right now. You can have that. Teacher, tengo una duda. Yes. Okay. Cada quien va a ser de su compañía. O esto lo vamos a hacer solos o va a ser en pareja. En pa va a ser en parejas. Pero okay. lo, los dos tenemos que elegir la compañía o cada quien puede hablar de su compañía. Los dos pueden elegir la compañía o así como usted, ustedes eh, les salga mejor. Pueden hablar de una compañía o pueden hablar de las dos compañías. Okay. It's up to you. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Uh, Joel, did you took a picture regarding that? Uh, about the... Yes, teacher, finish. Okay, very Thank good. You. Welcome. Okay, I will make the pairs. And uh, let's do this. Okay. Let's do this.
pero no es del sistema Fede Crédito. No, es no. el... No, oh. no es esa parte, el Fede Crédito es otro. Ajá, no, por eso le he preguntado. No, porque... tiene, no, no tiene nada que ver, pero igual tenemos sucursales en todos los departamentos. Ajá, porque yo lo conozco, la de San Salvador, y una que está aquí en Soya, que hace poquito la conocí, ¿no? Porque sí, yo solo la de al centro era. Sí, cabal, es que ha, ha sido difícil y que sea reconocida por el nombre. Ajá. Porque es Banco de Fomento Agropecuario, entonces todavía este, tienen el, la idea que solamente es para el, para el agro. Ajá, correcto. Todavía se maneja el concepto que solo es para el agro. Sí, cabal, pero no, hay créditos de todo tipo, así que lo invito a que vaya a una sucursal. Pues fíjese que le comento, sí, en, en cortito. Hay crédito dijo? para todo, para estudio. Fui bueno. a probar este <risa> a principios de año, uh -huh. a principios de año fui a preguntar y pues me dijeron que por mi salario, no podía aplicar a ninguno. Entonces, mm. como que me dijeron, no, muy poquito ganaba vale, la chingada. A principios de, este, principio de este año fue. Ajá. Ah, de veras. Sí. Y, bueno, quizás depende del monto que usted estaba solicitando. Mm. Porque depende del monto y de que si tiene otros gastos. Ah, no, pues sí. Es... Sí, porque la idea es que pueda pagar este la cuota mensual. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya, es este. Perdón. Vaya, entonces empecemos a armar el diálogo. Vaya, entonces su nombre era, yo no me fijé. Tatiana. Tatiana, vaya. Tati, lo voy a poner yo aquí en cortito. Vaya. Tati. Eh, vamos a empezar. A ver. Voy a empezar yo. Sí. Uh -huh. Voy a empezar yo. Entonces, había un, en las conversaciones de antes había uno que decía que era un supervisor de lo de que decía que se, se acuerda cuando estaba lo del um, como un organigrama ahí estaba Teacher, how do you say supervisor? Supervisor. Supervisor. I am an operation supervisor. Okay, very good. <laughs> You're talking about, Super. Carla, the organization chart. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, there are on page, let me see. This is unit one. It was... Let me go to that page. I won't remember to that. Um, that is on page 14. Uh -huh. Page 13 and 14. We have the floor manager, safety engineer, main in chief, supervisor, main in chief. Ah, yes, yes. Es el que andaba buscando. Por eso lo andaba buscando porque yes. sabía que ahí estaba un support. That is on page 13. Uh -huh. Ah, supervisor, se escribe lo mismo. Yes. What? Uh, 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 you can say, uh, how do you do in there? Because he said, I work at Banco Promerica. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I, can I ask, what do you do in here, there? What do you do there? What, I, what do you do? There. What do you do there? What do you do? Uh, what do you do there? There. Uh -huh. what do you do? Porque el primer do es auxiliar de la pregunta. Yes. No es que esté, ah, okay. That's correct. What do you do? There, there. there pero there, there, como, there, there. T-H-E-R-E. Sí, -E. Ah, there, there, there. there. Uh -huh, ah, yeah. What did you do there? Carlos, ajá, uh -huh, ok. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Y le dice, I am, uh, I'm, opera, opera, an operation supervisor. Mm -hmm. Ok, operation supervisor. Operation super, supervisor. 
Our bottom. Um, okay, guys, I will move to another group. Continue with that, please. Ah, pero vos ya le contesté. Enjo. Ajá. Pero lo ponemos como pregunta. Mhm. Um, oh. <laughs> like work, I, three years, uh, three, three years. years, I, three years, uh, in this work, mm -hmm. in this work. Three years in this work. Okay. And, and como podríamos decir, me gusta mucho. Mm, me gusta I, mucho. I, I like, like it. I like, I like it, it so work. much. I like okay. it so much. I like this and and mm -hmm. I like this. I like this. I like too much. So much. So much. S oh, S O. Okay. So much. Uh -huh. Okay. Eh, y allá podemos like preguntar lo de headquarters o branch. O sea, ahí ya puedo empezar a preguntar. Hola, hola. Hola. Después de eso hola. puede preguntar eh, cuántas... Si sí, tiene varias sucursales. Ajá, ¿sí? exacto. Uh -huh. Ah, no. de, de, el, el de country sería nada más, Jenny. Three, three extensions in the country. Sí, in the country. Ya va a entrar el teacher y le vamos a preguntar. Hello, hello. Ah, <risa> <risa> lo llamamos con el pensamiento. No, vale. <risa> en el caso de Anda, teacher, no son, no podemos decir, no es manufacturing. Manufacturing, sino que como es que provee agua, nosotros le hemos puesto esta. ¿Qué hace Anda? We bring quality water all the country. A todo yes. el país. Ok. Ahora viene esta. Oh, I see. Does Anda have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three stations or three branches le ponemos. Porque three son estaciones, son regiones las que tenemos. Pero, eh, bueno, branches sería, ¿verdad? Sí, en ese caso, las branches estamos hablando de las oficinas. Uh -huh. Exacto, nosotros nos dividimos así porque la oficina región oriental, occidental, uh -huh. eh, metropolitana y la del centro que es la sede, uh -huh. sería la headquarters. La headquarters, so in that uh -huh. case, three branches. Three branches. Three branches. Ok, perfecto. Esa era nuestra duda. Ok, muy bien, continúe. Gracias, teacher. Welcome. Three branches. In, in Three the branches. Country, ¿Verdad? Three branches, ¿no? What is the... Branches... Eh, cerca is near, teacher. Yes. Okay. What is the branches? No. What, what, what is the nearest? Branch. Podría ocupar ahí nearest branch. What? ¿Qué quiere decir? What do you want to say? Más cerca. Okay, so what is the nearest branches? What is the nearest branch? Excuse me. What is the nearest branch? Nearest, let me. Okay, let me verify if I can write this. Okay, I will note this one. You can see what is the nearest. Yo no lo puedo ver, teacher. You can see, you can see it. Eh, yo no lo puedo ver. 
No. Ah, va, ok. Uh, hoy sí. Nearest. Branch. Uh, Ahí se cortó, pero es branch va unido. Acuérdense. Nearest branch. Sí, ajá. What is the nearest branch? Branch. Branch. That's correct. What is the nearest branch? What is the, that's oh. it. What is the nearest branch? Pasó. Sí. ¿Puedo borrarlo ya? Yes. Okay. Bueno, no sé. Joel ya lo copió. Bye. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Okay. Solo tenía duda con el nearest. Ok, good. Ese sería cercano en todo caso, ¿verdad? Yes, la más cerca. Ajá. Uh -huh. Where is the nearest branch? Uh -huh. eh, la respuesta sería the, the nearest branch is eh, Soyapan. No, is... no sé, yes. puede quedar cerca. Yes, you can say that. The nearest branch is Soyapan. Ok. ¿Dónde vive usted, Joel? Sí, aquí en Suyapango. Ah, ok. Ok. Hasta ahí lo podríamos... Pero hacer. yo pensaba, yo pensaba que... What, no, what band do you want? Oh, which one? No sé. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo vamos? ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice? ¿En cuál banco? ¿En cuál banco trabajas? How do you say? How do you say? En cuál banco trabaja? And uh -huh. uh, which bank? You can say which is the bank do you work for? Uh, o si yes. estamos hablando de de un banco en específico uh -huh. sobre las sucursales o estamos hablando en general de los bancos. En no, general. Específico. En general o específico. No, es que, es que o la sea, pregunta es, yo, yo le, yo le quiero preguntar, ¿en qué banco trabaja? Ah, en which bank, Porque, you can say, what is the ah, bank do you work? Ah, what, what is, is the name of the bank do you work? I, you work. Or, which bank do you work? Ah. What is the name of the bank? Yes, what, what is the name of the bank do you work? You work. No. You work. Uh, you work. That's correct. What is the name of the bank you work? Mm -hmm. huh. I work. I work. Why working? I work for. Sería ahí uh -huh. el nombre del banco. I work for. I work for BFA. Yes. Okay. Good. Continue. And if you have question, me escriben y yo regreso. Yes. How do you say, how do you say uh, you are, uh, tú eres mi competencia? You are my comp, you can say, um, se me ha ido la palabra. Yo le digo que pertenecemos al mismo cluster. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, let me just check that porque se me ha ido la palabra. He can say you are my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, pero como me dijo la pregunta, eh, you are my competitor. Com, you can say com, competitor. La competencia. Uh -huh. Porque si decimos competence es de competencia de habilidad. Uh -huh. Es competitor. Okay. Competitor. That's the word. Ok. okay. I will, Vaya, Car uh -huh. <laughs> Carlos, ¿a dónde se quedó? Yo me quedé, me confundí cuando me, porque me dio varias, varias opciones, dice, cuando le... Yo creo que en El Salvador le tendría que poner, ¿verdad? Porque es acá. Salvador. Uh -huh. They're in El Salvador. If you're talking about a company here in El Salvador, you can say, you're talking about the headquarters, right? Uh -huh. You can say, you can specify the city or the ah, department. Okay. For example, ah, okay. it's in San Salvador or it's in um, 
let's say Mexicanos, I don't know, any city, or you can just mention the department of the state. Okay. Andres, sure. Yes. Como este country es español. Yes. Bueno, para oh, utilizar una palabra, no sé, el territorio nacional o, o otra palabra, como poder decir país. Como sustituirlo. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Say the national territory. National territory. territory. Yes. You can uh, say that. National. Mm -hmm. Creo que ahí sería algo. Sí. Ya lo hicimos. Finish. Okay, you finish now. I will give you five more minutes just to practice. Practice okay. the conversation and then because you're going to present to the whole class. Okay, practice it please. And then we're going to move on to the main room. I will move on to next group. Okay. Hello, Andres. My name is Erika. Nice to meet you. Hi, tú, ya. You finish? Yeah. yeah. Okay, now practice the conversation. I will give you five more minutes. <laughs> okay. okay. Hey, practice. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. Mm -hmm. Joel, usted empieza. Sí, espérame que tengo. <laughs> ah. Me regaló un dulcito a mi esposa. Headwork. Y ese es como la casa matriz. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Así se dice, yes, but I work at the headquarter or in the headquarter? I work in the headquarter. Uh, uh, in the, in the oh. headquarter. Uh, yes, I work the in the headquarters. headquarters. Uh -huh. Y ahí usted me pregunta, ¿a dónde está el headquarter? Y entonces... Ya lo estoy poniendo. Entre Carla y Carlos ya me confundí. Entonces sería, where is the headquarters? Where is the headquarters? No, no. And right. where are the headquarters? Where are the headquarters? Where are, ah, okay. Uh, where yeah. are the headquarters? Where are the, the headquarters? You have four more minutes. Para que terminemos. No importa si no terminan, si no te dan una conclusión, pero vamos a trabajar con lo que tienen porque ya casi se nos, se nos está acabando el tiempo. Four more minutes. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces usted me diría dónde estaba, eh? o sea. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dave. Priority. Sí. Meeting. Is. Sí. Provide. Provide our priority is to provide a quality to provide a quality service service to all Salvadorian family. Very good. To to all Salvadorian family. Salvadorian family. 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 Correcto. Vale. Ahora lo vamos a tener que practicar. Yes, you have three more minutes. Ay, Dios mío. <laughs> ok. Ok, vamos. Voy. Eh, ah, usted. Well, I work in a bank. We are in the finance industry. We have 32 branches in the country. We plan 22. to... 32. 32. No te escucho bien. ¿Cómo? We have 32 branches. 
A32. That's right. Okay. In the country. Vaya, pero vamos a hacerlo así despacio porque tengo que escribirlo porque no me voy a perder. Ok, no problem. <laughs> dale, Vieto, dale. Ok. We have 32 branches in the country. We mm -hmm. plan to expand in other countries in the future. What about you? 22, 32, 32 branches in the country. ¿Qué más? That's right. We mm -hmm. plan to expand in other countries in the future. To explain este, to expand. expand. Ah, ah, como como expandir. Uh -huh. uh, we plan expand. to expand. Uh -huh. In the other, in other countries in the future. Okay, guys, you in have one future. more minute. Yeah. Okay, in the future. That's okay, it. Sergio, what is the bank where you work? A bank. A bank. The a bank. last. Uh, That's Azteca. Azteca. Azteca, yeah. That's right. Okay. Ah, porque ahí nos vamos a quedar porque lo vamos a sacar de aquí. <laughs> sí. Cabal. Okay, guys, so we're going to move on right now to the role play. Um, I don't know who's going to be first, volunteers? No volunteers, or oh, I can uh, choose from the list. No volunteers? The list, the list. No, from the just, list. <laughs> just a okay. victim. Okay, I will choose a victim. Actually, I'm not going to choose a victim. You are going to choose a victim. Joel, tell me, uh, give me a number from 1 to 20. Entre, yes, Joel, from 1 okay. to 20. Which number? Uh, 15. Number 15. Okay, she's not here. Give me another. <laughs> Excelente. Uh, no, one. Sí, yo, <laughs> number one. Number one is no, not here. No, either. no, no, no. Twenty one. Uh, no, that is from one to twenty. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. And Daniel is not here. Give me another. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Number seven. Okay, so no, <laughs> there, she's not here either. The last one, and I will choose. El three. Último. Number three. Okay, she's not here. Okay, ah, pues I will no. choose. La mitad de la clase no está. <laughs> yes, we are just few. Okay, I will choose, and uh, you say number one, right? So I will choose number two. Okay, Jenny and company. Jenny, you can break the ice with your conversation. Lo vamos a hacer con mi compañera? Yes, yes. Okay, entonces sería Julia? Sí. Perfecto. My name is Julia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jenny. I work for Anda Company. What does Anda Company do, Jenny? We bring quality water all a country. Oh, I see. Does Anda have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three branches in the country. And where are uh, and, and where are the uh, headquarters? They're in San Salvador. What time open the Anda company? We are open a.m. to 4 p.m. 
What is the ANDA priority? Our priority is to provide a quality service to all Salvadorian family. Okay, that's all. Okay, very good. An applause for them, please. Applause for them. Very good job. Okay, remember you can say priority. 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 Very good job, Julia and Jenny. Very good. Okay, next one, I will choose it. Okay, we have um, Sergio, Joel, and uh, Tatiana, right? Okay, so you continue, please. Can you hear me? Hey, I'm Tati. Ready? Okay. Yes. My name is Joel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. To I'm Tatiana. I work for BFA. What does BFA do, Tatiana? We are a bank. Oh, I see. Does BFA have many branches? Yes, it does. We have 31 branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in, they in Santa Tecla. What is the nearest branch? Where do you live, Joel? I live in Soyapango. Nice. You can visit the branch in Soyapango Plaza. Okay, Tatiana, Tatiana, thank you. And you, Sergio? Well, well my, my name is Sergio Sosa, and I work in a bank. We are in the finance industry. We have 32 branches in the country. We plan to expand in other countries in the future. What about you, Joel? Okay, Sergio, what is your work? I am a cop. Or I am a police. Oh, really? <laughs> police of you can say cop. Police or, officer. Of, 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 of police officer. Uh huh. Police officer. Okay. And ah, that's good. That's good. Where did you work, um, Sergio? I work in a bank. Ah, okay. It's a last Azteca bank. That's right, Joel. Okay, thank you. Finish him. Okay, very good job. Applause for them, please. Very good. Okay, so just remember, uh, Tatiana, when you give acronyms, un acronym son los acrónimos. Okay, BFA uh -huh. es un acronym. Acronym. Entonces, you need to um, say those letters in English. B F A. Very good. But that's teacher. Very good. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Eh, yo le dije que lo dejara en español por lo mismo de que estamos hablando de un acrónimo mm -hmm. en español. No, but that's fine. You can say Banco de Fomento Agro agropecuario, right? Uh -huh. so that is BFA, so you can say that. Oh, okay. okay. You can say. ANDA, okay. you can say in Spanish because ANDA is read it as ANDA, right? So it's, it's in a, an acronym, but eh, ANDA se lee um, es una, así. ¿Cómo se llama? Es Administración Nacional, Nacional de Productos de Alcantarillados. Ah, That's es, right. That's es un diminutivo. Mm -hmm. Entonces, como anda se lee en español, si quieren say anda es anda, no se traduce. We cannot uh -huh. translate that. Pero en este caso, yes, you, because no, no forma una letra, una palabra, perdón. Una palabra. Uh -huh. Entonces, BFA. So you can say BFA because those are letters. Okay. So that's very good. Very good, Tatiana. And uh, remember, it's industry. 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 That is the, the major um, voice in in. So we have in industry. industry. Okay, mm -hmm. so in and then we goes down, industry. Very good job. 
Okay, who else? Carlos and uh, Carla. Okay, your turn. Okay, Carlos, where are you? Carlos. Carlos tiene el, el, el mute, el micrófono. Okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Hi, my name is Carla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Carlos. I work of Banco Promerica. I work for Banco Promerica. What do you do there? I am an operation supervisor. And where are your office? My office is in San Miguel branch. Really? Do you live in San Miguel? Yes. What about you? Where do you work? I work in a bank too. Really? Belong to my cluster. What is the name of the banks you work? I work for BFA. You are my competitor. 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 Yeah. Competitor. Yes, but I work in the headquarters. Where are the headquarters? They're in Santa Tecla. I like Santa Tecla. I like Santa Tecla too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> Applause for them. Very good. Okay, remember you're talking about one office and you ask what are your office? Remember it's just one. You can say where is? Where is your office? Very good. Okay, and the last but not the least, we have Erica and Andres. Your turn. Okay. Hello Andres, my name is Erica. Nice to meet you. Where do you work? Hello, Erica. Yes, I work in a bank. Uh, where do you work? I work in a bank for America. Oh, uh, how time do you have this work? I have a two, uh, two years of working in the, in the bank. And you? Um, I three years in this work. Um, I like so much. Uh, does Bank Pro America have many branches? Yes, it does. We have ferry branches in El Salvador. Does a bank have many branches? Yes, we have 13 branches in the El Salvador. Where is the headquarters? There in Nicaragua, and where are the are that hard work a bank? There is in the national territory. Excellent. Goodbye, Andres. Goodbye, Erica. See you later. Okay. Very good job. An applause for them. Thank very you. good. <laughs> okay, just remember, you can say how many time uh, you were there. The correct question should be, how long have you worked there? ¿Qué tanto tiempo ha trabajado ahí en el lugar? En este caso estamos hablando de un banco, right? How long have you worked there? Okay, cuando hablamos de tiempo es how long. Okay, very good job, guys. Okay. Very good. Let's move on uh, to the next Teacher, activity. Yes, tell me. Uh, how long have you worked there? Worked work there. Work there. Mm -hmm. So I will um, share. Thank you, Teacher. Okay, welcome. Okay, I will share uh, the next part. Okay, I will share the next part and let me just share this screen. Okay, because right now I just have one monitor and uh, I will move on to this. Okay, so we move on uh, to this, uh, the next activity, the company's department. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. 
So we go to the company's department. Uh, so we're going to work individually. I will show you uh, different department with the description on, the, on that. And you need to match that department with the correct description. Okay, and then we're going to compare the answers together. I will unshare this one and I will show you this one. Okay, let me just this. Let me share this screen. Let me know when can you uh, see the, the screen. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, teacher. So we have the departments in this part. Let me just to point this out. Okay, we have the departments in this part, in this column and we have the description in the other column. So for example, we have human resources. That is one department of the company, right? So what is in this description? What is the human resources department? Let's do the first together. Hagamos la primera juntos y las demás lo hacemos individuales. Uh, responsible, 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 for responsible for hiding new staff. Okay, responsible for hiding, hiding, hiding new staff. Very good. That's the human resources department is responsible for hiring new staff. Okay, I will give you. Uh, yes. What is the? ¿Cuál es la que están leyendo? Perdón. This one. Ah, okay. Okay, so welcome. Now I will give you five minutes in order just to match the ones that you can match. Okay, por eso lo vamos a hacer individual. Todas las que ustedes en cinco minutos eh, las puedan uh, aparear o las puedan matchar. You can match with the correct description. Okay, you have five minutes.
You have two more minutes, guys. Teacher. Yes. What is research and development? Okay, research is en busca o invest, investigar. Development is desarrollar. Okay, very good guys. No, don't worry if you don't finish. So that's why we are doing this uh, individually first and then we're going, um, as of now, we're going to do together. Okay, as we mentioned, uh, Human Resources is responsible for hiring new staff. Okay, what is the marketing department responsible for? Responsible, responsible for marketing, for marketing the product um, no, he, no, really. Responsible for discovering new wells uh, about the product. Uh, really? Uh huh. Uh, responsible for the. I have a question. For the company computers and networks. No, and that is. SSET. IT. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, what is the marketing? Is a number is in the third and the four line. Responsible for how a product service is advertising and promoted. And promoted. promoted. Very good. Uh, promoted. Okay, okay, that's the marketing department responsible ho, uh, for how a product or service is advertised and promoted. Ok, ¿cómo ellos lo van a promover el producto o el servicio o cómo se va a ser vendido? That's the marketing department. Mm -hmm. Now, research and development. Research and development. Responsible for discovering new knowledge about the product, improving, in the, improving it and creating new products. Very good. So responsible okay. for discovering new knowledge about the product, improve, improving it and creating new products. Okay, now IT, information technology. The responsible for the company's computers and networks. Very good. So it's responsible for the company's computers and network. The maintenance department. The maintenance department. Is responsible for the office and building? Is it for um, office and building? Uh, mm -hmm. um, yes. Yes, that's the... the um, where is okay. it responsible for? Yes, responsible for the office, office and building. building. Yes, that's the correct one. Sales. The sales responsible are... for selling the products and service. Very good. The responsible for selling the product or service. Hey, chair. Yes. Parece que no dijo que era marketing. Esa respuesta. Oh, I'm sorry. ¿Verdad que yes. responsible es, for marketing the product sería marketing? O al yes. revés. Ah, es, okay. es al revés. I'm sorry for that. Let me okay. just to highlight this one. Sales. Okay, responsible for marketing the product is the marketing department. And this one, the sales. Sales. Is is responsible, responsible for, for selling, selling the, the product. product. Okay, very good. Thank you, Erika. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have uh, the customer service. Okay. 
Yes. yes. Erika, do you have that one? Customer service? No. Responsible. Tatiana? Carla? Yes. For taking care of customer needs. Very good. That is responsible for taking care of customer needs. Okay, the finance department. Is responsibility for payments, bills, and expenses. expenses. Very good. Bills. Responsible for payment, bills, and expenses. And uh, the final one, uh, uh, we have dispatch department. Responsible for delivery of order. Okay, responsible for, where is it? Ya se me perdió. Okay, and the last, the last one. one. Responsible for delivery of orders. And the last one, productions department. Responsible for making the product. Very good, for making the product. Very good, guys. Okay, we have some minutes and I will just show you a uh, video regarding other the de other departments okay let me just verify i can share this one okay let me let me know when you can see that screen Yeah, did you? Okay, very good. I will just play the video and uh, let's learn about some departments. Hello there, buddy. With a little help from my animated friends, let's find out what organizational structure means. And meet Nancy. She's the Chief Executive Officer or CEO of Awesome Corp, a company with 35 employees. Well, this is Jim. He's the Chief Operating Officer or COO of Awesome Corp. He's Nancy's second in command and reports directly to her. Jim oversees a wide variety of areas, including production, sales, and marketing. Mutlu is the Chief Financial Officer or CFO. Simply put, he's responsible for the financial health of the company. Nancy, Jim, and Mutlu are Awesome Corp's executive team. But Awesome Corp has more employees than just three a lot more let's take a look at the financial department as you remember mulu is the cfo and this is his team layla is a senior receivables accountant she manages accounts receivables that's the money coming into the company from its customers she makes sure invoices get issued and that awesome corp gets paid on time this is thomas He's Layla's peer, meaning that they are likely to receive comparable compensation, and they both report to Mutlu. Thomas's area is slightly different, though. Thomas handles accounts payable. That's the money that the company pays to its suppliers and service providers. He also happens to handle the company's taxes. Susan is a procurement specialist. She works with the company's suppliers and partners to make sure the company always has sufficient resources and that service contracts are up to date. She frequently scouts new vendors in order for Awesome Corp to get the best prices. And Thomas is her manager. Ahoy Financial Department. Of course, there are more departments. Together, all these employees from Awesome Corp, decision-making power flows from the top to the bottom with a greater concentration at the top. All companies are slightly different, but this will give you a solid start. For practice, try sketching out an organizational structure of your company or college. Good luck. Okay guys, based on the video that you saw, what is the new departments that you learned from there? What are the positions that you learn from there? Who is in the top? CCO. That's CCO, the chief executive. Okay, very good. That is CEO. Okay, that's uh, chief CEO. Security officer. Very good. And then we have the chief operational officer, right? So that is COO, okay, which is in second in command. 
okay, which is the second um, in literature. What other vocabulary did you learn? ¿Qué otro vocabulario o algo que pudieran obtener de la, de, del video? Yes. Don't you remember that? Don't you remember other one? For example, we have the chief financial officer, which is the CFO. Also, we have the senior, okay, in this case, payables account, okay, who is in charge of receiving the payments for the clients or customers that the company has. Also, we have the uh, procurement specialist, which it's teacher. Yes. Give me a second. Uh, CFO, CFO uh, is an acronym. Yes. Okay. So it's C Chief Finance Office. Chief, Chief Financial Officer, right? Financial. That's ah, okay. CFO. COO is the Chief Operating Officer. And the top, which is on the top, is huh? Chief Executive yeah, Office. Yes, uh, uh, okay, okay. Very good. I know. Now you know that. Okay, you know new <laughs> vocabulary. Yeah, it's a new vocabulary. But in this time, it, I know. Okay. So, oh, yes, hey. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I know. Okay, very good. Okay. Let me just to move on up to this part. Okay, so let's move on up to the wrap-up part, which is a review. What did you learn today, guys? ¿Qué aprendimos ahora? Branches. Branches, very good. Vocabulary, branches. Yes. What else? Headquarters. Headquarters, very good. ¿Qué más estuvimos discutiendo? Eh, branches, headquarters, eh, nearest. Nearest, okay, nearest. very good. Eh, acronym. The acronyms, very good. Acronym, okay. Help me with the pronounce. <laughs> Acronym in shy. Okay, shy. And mm -hmm. only that. Only that. <laughs> okay, very good. Before we uh, go, okay, porque. Ya no tuvimos tiempo de tomar la asistencia segunda vez. Solo voy a mencionar a los que no estaban en la primera llamada. Eduardo Ángel, Eduardo Antonio Ángel. Tenemos a Kenny Alexandra Montenegro. Mónica Guadalupe Martínez. José Ernesto Teras. Wendy Joana Escobar Estrada. Eduardo Alfredo Pérez Rugamas. Maritza Elizabeth Chicas. Mariela Loura Zamaya, Flor Morena Rodríguez de Morales, Dora Ayala y Emma Carolina Araniva y Daniel Edgardo Alf, Álvarez Hernández. Ok, guys. Solo recordarles que los que tienen al momento, yo sé que todavía algunos no tienen acceso a la plataforma, y no he podido bajar eh, o poner los ejercicios en un PDF. Entonces voy a tratarlo de hacer porque el sitio no me deja. Pero eh, los que tienen acceso a la plataforma, por favor, los que no han completado los ejercicios de la unidad 1, háganlo lo más pronto posible porque acuérdense que es nota. 
es nota y hay exámenes. O sea, esta semana creo que tenemos un midterm. Vamos a ver lo que es eh, el contenido de la unidad 1 y 2. Entonces, eh, y hay un, fin, un examen final que es el final del curso, ¿verdad? Casi el, es al final del curso. Entonces, por favor, hagan los ejercicios, practiquen. Si tienen alguna pregunta, por favor, let me know. Ok, guys, any question? Any doubt? Any concern? No. No. Yo creo que sea la misma de siempre, que es ver hasta cuándo me van a dejar entrar ahí, porque ya tengo rezagadas dos semanas de, a, de tarea. Voy a seguir yo ahí, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Gestionando eso, porque sí mando, en su caso, él les mando eh, mensaje individual a la persona, a la coordinadora. Entonces, eh, lo que ella me dijo es que le mandara el nombre de... de que con quien se tenía que comunicar, pero al parecer no se ha resolvido nada. Vamos a estar yo, le, yo le intenté llamar por línea directa, no me contestó. Le llamé por WhatsApp la misma dosis. Entonces, a saber. Sí, vamos a, a tratar de, bueno, vamos a estar apoyando ahí para que se arregle esa situación. En su caso, Joel. Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta, alguna duda, chicos? Todo claro, like water, horchata o chan. Horchata. Like horchata. <laughs> okay. So if you have question, please let me know. Me pueden escribir directo a mi WhatsApp o me pueden escribir al correo. Se los di aquel día. Los puse en el en el um, grupo de WhatsApp, chicos. Entonces, si no hay más, thank you for joining to the class and be to the class. See you tomorrow. And have a nice night. Goodbye. Okay, good goodbye, night. teacher. Good night, good night everyone. Night. God bless you. Thank you, you as well.